So if you are a B2B marketer or perhaps a sales director responsible for growth in your organization, I think you're really going to like the strategy I want to share with you. Um, this is something that we work with, um, particularly with B2B clients, or if you've got a high lifetime client value and a really defined audience, um, and usually a pretty limited paid traffic budget, then this strategy works really, really well. So we refer to it as omnipresence and it's, if there's a, this audience that you want to go after, how do we make it that you will be bigger than you are, that you're top of mind and essentially be everywhere? So I want to walk you through the omnipresence strategy today. Um, I'm sharing my screen here and hopefully you can see this guy here. Uh, so what you're looking at there is your ideal customer, right? So we can see our ideal customer there. And so what you need to do is for the first step of omnipresence, we need a list of a thousands um, of your ideal customers along with their email addresses. So this should be um, potentially, it might be a database that you already have. It might be a list of past customers. It might be the sales territory that your reps are going after, but we need a, usually a minimum of a thousand email addresses to make this strategy work um, because there's some minimum requirements with the different platforms. So the first thing that we're then going to do for our omnipresent strategy is that we're going to take those email addresses and you can upload them in to LinkedIn as a CSV file or an Excel file um, and actually ask LinkedIn to match um, LinkedIn profiles against those email addresses that is a target audience. So if you've got a thousand, it might recognize five or 600, but now you can run a campaign just to that group of people. But we're not going to stop there. So the next thing that you're going to do is you can take all of those email addresses and put them into Google and the Google display network. Um, and now you can advertise to that audience of that same thousand people or thousand plus people. You can run campaigns with your content to them against Google as well, using that custom audience, but we're not stopped there. So then you can take that same list of a thousand plus people, go into Facebook ads and upload them as a custom audience there. Facebook will have a look and Facebook's got some clever targeting. I think you don't necessarily have to have that email address against your Facebook profile for them to know who it is. Um, but you can take that list and then upload it there as well. Not done. Um, Facebook, Instagram, both have that same targeting algorithm. So now you can have your campaigns following that or your ideal audience on Facebook as well. Um, then the other place that works really well with this is YouTube. So YouTube is owned by Google. Um, it's part of the same ad network. So you can set up campaigns based on some of those same targeting. But if your content is in video format, then you can have it there in YouTube as well. But make sure you're doing it as a custom audience, those same thousand email addresses. So what you can do now, if you're creating a piece of content and that might be awareness phase content, it might be an offer, it might be some thought leadership, it might be about an event for your dream customer or a thousand of your dream customers, for all intents and purposes for that audience, you are everywhere, right? They're seeing you on LinkedIn, on Google, on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube. And then you can go and take those email addresses and put them in platforms like Taboola and Outbrain. Then now all of a sudden, um, if you've seen those content partner networks, now you'll be appearing all over the internet as well on different news websites and all of these sorts of things. So you can actually do these multi-channel, be everywhere, omnipresent campaigns in a really cost-effective manner because you're going to that same group of people and you can do cost per thousand view campaigns for a couple of bucks against each platform. But now for that audience, you're everywhere. Now the real magic of omnipresence campaigns is you set it up so that you make sure you're on all of those platforms and all of those places. You've got good, interesting, high value, high utility content. But then what you can do is you start reaching out to that same list of a thousand people, a thousand plus people via email. So don't just advertise to them in isolation, actually align your direct approach and the people that your sales team or you yourself are going after. Um, but you've warmed up that audience, right? They're going to be far more responsive because they're seeing you, your offer, your thought leadership, your content everywhere. And then of course, what do you do? You follow it up with a phone call. So you should have an email nurture sequence there, but then nothing replaces getting on the phone, meeting with someone, being face to face, but the likelihood of them taking your call, responding to your email, calling you back, is way elevated by the fact that they can see you everywhere. Um, and to be honest, like if you're target, if you, you have that dream 1000 or dream 100, you've got that person there you want to get in front of, they can find you on all of these different platforms. You're landing in your inbox, you're hitting the phones and they're not responding. They probably don't need you, but if they do, then they're going to respond. So this is one of the things that we get a ton of success with. Um, 
Uh, great for B2B, um, great if you've got a sales team that are following up on leads, great if you've got defined territories, great if you don't have a massive consumer budget. Um, also works really well if you've got a high lifetime customer value. So, you know, if someone's spending you know, north of twenty or thirty thousand dollars in a sale for you, then you can build out audiences and focus in on them really um, uh, in a focus manner like this. So check it out. It's called the Omnipresent Strategy. If you've got any questions, just leave me a note in the comments and I'll answer however I can. Cheers. Thanks for your time. <laughs> <laughs> what did you?